Yeah, it's not over, guys. More savagery to come. So, uh, some of the dumb stuff I always see online is stuff about social issues. And I get tired of the virtue signaling and people saying stuff just because it sounds good to others. Sounds well to others, excuse me. Um, yeah, I'm pedantic like that. But uh, uh, especially with stuff dealing with sex, gender, race, stuff like that. Uh, Psychology Today is a piss poor magazine for psychological topics. Um, if anything, you can just use it like Wikipedia as a reference to dig deeper into psychological issues and topics that that you might want to know more about but i wouldn't take it as the end out excuse me the end all and be all source itself there's always ridiculous stuff in there by uh folks who's while they may have credentials they 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 don't have any empirical rigor in their research um but in any case so the things that often get discussed by people who want to do good in the world, but do so in a way that retards their their ability to do so is stuff about like gender and race and intelligence. So um, denying aspects of reality that are bad for your argument doesn't help. If anything, acknowledging the problematic aspects of reality is a way to cope with things that we want to change okay and a good example of that is gender so yes we realize there's more than one gender and we realize there's cultures that have recognized multiple genders as well however to say that it's merely a social construct there's no biological reality to it is a step in the wrong direction um yes gender has some social construction going on but if it was only a social construct why is it that it takes a hormone replacement therapy for someone who wants to undergo gender reassignment so to change something that is merely a social construct, you have to undergo a biomedical treatment. Mm. Okay. Not to mention all these different cultures that recognize multiple genders still recognize a male and female gender within it. Mm. So why do virtually every society have genders that have a correspondence to biological sex hmm okay so <laughs> move it on to the next the next uh, model concept race race is p problematic for so many different reasons but to say that there's no biological reality to it that it's all social construct is wrong unfortunately there's even some and the life scientists that say that, and it's not because there isn't any biological reality to it, it's that it's so slim that for them it doesn't matter. They don't notice when they're being careful, they'll say um, all humans are 99.9999, et cetera, et cetera, percent alike. They don't say 100%. And I'm not going to get into the fallacy of if it's not 100%, it's, it's not real. I'm not saying that. Um, <laughs> what I'm saying is that there, there appears to be some biological reality to, to racial categories. If there weren't, why is it that biological anthropologists can, rec can identify the race of an individual by his, by his uh, skeletal remains? Why do we now have and medicine race-based medical therapies because they real recognize that some racial groups um, have different um, different uh, 
responses to different types of treatments. If it's merely a social construct, we shouldn't be able to identify someone's race by the skeletal remains. We shouldn't have differences in, in, in medicine based on racial categories, should we? Seems to be something there. If anything, like Steven Pinker has opined uh, in one of his books long time ago, uh, The Blank Slate, if there's any biological reality to races is that they seem to be a very large and inbred family. I, I can get with that. Um, probably one of the reasons why I'm not too interested in dating my own. <laughs> but that's a different story. Oh yeah, that's going to get me some interesting comments. Maybe, if anyone's actually watching. But, and that brings us to the last one. Which might be the most controversial or equally controversial to the other two, which is in, which is uh, IQ. So even the researchers in it themselves used to say that that um, IQ is simply whatever an intelligence test measures. But um, the problem with that is that most of them came under the old behaviors uh, program. Um, the behavior, behaviorism, especially radical behaviorism, was basically a, a research program in the sciences, particularly the uh, social sciences and philosophy, that pretty much said that we can't... It came in two flavors. You had um, psychological behaviorism, which simply said that we can't measure unseen mental things. Whereas the on the philosophical side, the radical behavior said that those things, those mental phenomena that we can't measure don't exist. So they just were a limitativist about it. Okay. But in any case, um, they were wrong because we did later be able were able to indirectly test many mental aspects of of uh, human behavior and psychology, which is why cognitivism has came over with people like Noam Chomsky and others when we had to f keep um, bringing in mental phenomena to explain what was going on in, in the research. But jumping from that, in any case, IQ measures something that, that's something that is and excuse that the uh, the message is coming in, but anyway, IQ measures something that is ob objective because IQ can objectively predict future success in both academic and career outcomes. Okay, not to mention that is partly inheritable, at least. It's almost 60% inheritable, okay? The rest being, being environmental, but still some aspects of it that's cons considered environmental because they're not inherited are still biological. On top of that, as you age and get older, that inheritability goes up to about 75%, which if you wonder why it's starting to become more like your parents when you get older, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, so those are objective things. And, you know, being able to deal with problems about IQ and race or um, gender discrimination or... Um, racial discrimination, you can't take these things on without ignoring certain realities about them. Because if you ignore those realities, you can't, you can't fight what's actually going on when you're blind to, to what's actually happening. But that's just my rant. I, I just, I hate disingenuous arguments claiming that these things are all social constructs by, uh, 
leftist academics and activists who don't really know what the fuck they're talking about. So you can take it for what it is, but merely calling something a social construct is not going to make it go away. Um, digging into it is probably a better a, a, a better way at, at tackling it by understanding it more. Uh, after all, like one of the central tenets of neuroscience is that all uh, human behavior is a reflection of the activity of the brain. So when you look at it that way, we're going to see that a lot of aspects of our behavior aren't merely social constructs. But I'm just a contrarian. <laughs>